What's going on Giants fans? Before I begin this video, I figured I'll give everyone a fair warning. You are about to hear some explicit language. Please, if you are at work, either wait until you get home or put your headphones in. If you are around children, please listen to this when your children are not around because what I'm about to say is going to have strong, sensitive language. With that being said, there is my warning, and here we go. So yesterday, the New York football giants began the day with a deadline at 4 p.m. Eastern. They needed to make a decision on whether to extend or tag quarterback Daniel Jones and whether to extend or tag Saquon Barkley. With only the ability to tag one player, it was a priority for Daniel Jones to sign a long-term deal to the New York Giants so that Joe Shane could then slap the franchise tag on Saquon Barkley. It was coming down to the wire, and according to Adam Schefter, at 3.56 p.m., the deal was agreed upon between Daniel Jones and his agents. Word has come out that Daniel Jones was in the facility the entire time working out while his agents and head coach Brian Dayball and general manager Joe Shane were in the conference room uh, doing the contract details and ironing out the language. As soon as he found out, he was agreed upon. He signed the, the, the deal later today. And then we were able to slap the franchise tag on running back Saquon Barkley four minutes before the 4 p.m. deadline. So... With that being said, Daniel Jones is making $40 million a year annually. He will only have a cap hit this year of about $19 million. Now, I don't agree with most Giants fans. I think half the fan base is delusional and half the fan base is just plain haters. I don't get why so many people want to root for the failure of not only the team, but of quarterback Daniel Jones. I'm seeing comments, oh, wah, wah. Oh, I don't want Daniel Jones to be my quarterback. I don't want to. I don't want Daniel Jones. Wah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What are you going to do? Do you think you're smarter than Joe Shane? No. Do you think you know more about the quarterback position than Brian Dayball, who's worked under the, the genius minds of Nick Saban, Bill Belichick, no. He's won three Super Bowls, and he's been a part of a national championship. You don't know more than them. So shut the fuck up and just relax. I don't want Daniel Jones to be my quarterback. I don't want him. He stinks. Shut the fuck up. You don't know shit. And if any of you are on Facebook and follow the page, New York Giants 366, 366 unfollow them. I hate those fuckers, Dan and Matt, more than anything in the world. Those two fucking pussies don't know shit. All they fucking do is jerk each other off in their parents' basement, swallow each other's fucking jizz, and hate and hate on the fucking Giants and Daniel Jones. They think they know their shit, and they don't. All they do is fucking complain. I don't want Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones does not deserve $40 million. Fuck you both. You're both fucking clueless. You don't know fucking shit. You don't know anything. Shut the fuck up. You're not smarter than a general manager who's been a scout and in the NFL for the past 20 fucking years. You don't know more than them. I, I don't either. But I do know one thing. I trust a quarterback that has taken a team full of fucking misfits and fucking fat fucks on the O-line that are ranked 31st into the playoffs. A team of receivers who can't catch fucking dick led them to the playoffs and won a playoff game on the road in a dome against a hostile environment against a 13-win Vikings team. Oh, the Vikings defense sucks. So do we. We fucking suck and we still beat them. Shut the fuck up. Idiots. I can't imagine rooting for a team to lose. I'm a Knicks fan. I've been supportive of the Knicks when their best player was Landry fucking Fields. Now they're in the playoffs. They're one of the best teams in the fucking Eastern Conference. You don't know shit. Just shut the fuck up. Honestly, you sound like fucking haters. 
Aren't you fucking losers tired of complaining and bitching and complaining and bitching every fucking day? Shut the fuck up! Do not listen to New York Giants 366. They're fucking idiots. Do not listen to Nick Wright. Who the fuck is Nick Wright on ESPN? He's a fucking idiot. Don't listen to him. Dan Orzlowski, he fucking sucked dick in the NFL. He ran out of bounds to avoid being sacked. He sucks. I just can't imagine rooting for a team, my one of my favorite teams in all sports, and just rooting for them to lose so I can tell people I disagree with, hey, told you so. Like, what do you get out of that, huh? What do you get out of wanting your favorite team to lose so that a quarterback that you can't stand is off the team in a couple years? Wouldn't you want that quarterback to succeed? That means if he succeeds, then the Giants are going to be better and they have a better chance at making it to a Super Bowl. Who would root against that? Idiots do. Losers, fucking people that are depressed with their own lives and hate the success of others. Those people are cancerous and you want them no longer in your life. You want to cut them out. Fuck you all. And for the fans that are supportive, even if you don't like Daniel Jones and that you don't root against him. And all you YouTube viewers that follow me, this is not about you. This is about a Facebook group that I am in that none of them even watch these videos, and I can assure that because I don't post these videos on that group because all they do is just talk shit. And I can handle it, but at the end of the day, it gets annoying. I can't go back and forth with these fucking idiots any more than I can already. They're just dumb. I don't get how people can root against their favorite sports team just because of a quarterback they do not like. I don't get it. The same hate went towards Eli Manning until they shut them all the fuck up by winning two Super Bowls in four years. Jalen Hurts had identical stats last year that Daniel Jones had this year. Identical stats. He led them to the playoffs. They won nine games, just like we won nine games this year. He led them to the playoffs against Tom Brady and the Bucs and got fucking annihilated. And even said, even then... The Eagles had a great offensive line, and they had weapons. Fast forward this year, Jalen Hurts had A.J. Brown acquired on his team. Still had the number one offensive line in football. Had a nasty defense on his side, and they made it to the Super Bowl. And he only threw six more touchdowns than Jones had this year. And the, before that season, Eagles fans wanted Hurts' head on a fucking stake. They wanted him gone. They did not believe in him. They said he sucked dick, that he couldn't throw for fucking his life, and they wanted him off the team. And now they're about to give him 50 fucking million dollars. So all you fucking pussies that hate Daniel Jones and root for his demise, get cozy, fuckers. He ain't going anywhere. Not anytime soon, at least. Get fucking cozy. Get a blanket, get a Snuggie, get whatever the fuck you have at your house and stay on the fucking couch and stay in your fucking lane. NY Giants 366, Matt and Dan, you all are both fucking pussies and you're fucking losers. All you do is hate on people. That is not a attractive trait. No wonder you fuck faces are in your parents' basements with no jobs, no fucking honeys calling you up because you're fucking losers. Anyone who roots against their favorite team because they hate a player on that team is a fucking loser. Go root for the Jets. Go root for the fucking Cleveland Browns and get off my fucking team's wagon. And I don't want you back on when they are in the Super Bowl in a couple years. I don't want you jumping ship getting a Daniel Jones jersey when he proves all you fucking faggots wrong. So shut the fuck up and get cozy because Jones, he ain't going anywhere.